kind of how you left it? Huh? So was everything kind of how you left it? <laughs> Well, certainly they, they had an amazing season this year. It's fun to watch them and, and follow them. And, and they just played incredibly hard, played together, played with a chip on their shoulder. And, and you know, it, it was a great season. I'm, I'm thankful to be here. Can you kind of take us from your perspective, kind of how this whole came together? With yeah, it was just something that Will and I talked about for the last month. And uh, just weighing all the opportunities, this was the, the one that I felt like was best for, for myself and for our family view this as, as sort of a, a short-term thing and maybe get back into coaching later on or is this more of a lasting thing in your yeah. mind? You know I've been asked that question a couple of times and for me my sole focus is, is the here and now and being here with Will and, and Jeff and, and Lance and doing my very best to help these guys in every facet I can and, and not looking out over the, the horizon. What's, what's that like working with guys who, you know, technically by title you were maybe their boss before, and now it's a little bit of a different Well, we, we've been a team, you know, anytime that we've been together, we're all in it together, and titles don't matter. Everybody's had their certain amount of responsibility, and whatever I can do to help these guys and any hats I can wear to help is, is what I'm willing to do and, and looking forward to doing. Have you officially started the position yet? Officially started today, yes. What was your first act? <laughs> I forget we're just talking about players in, in the transfer portal and finishing up recruiting and, and, and doing that. What do you kind of see yourself doing as more observing? Obviously, it's not a hands-on maybe coaching role, but it's Correct. more of an observing, or how do you kind of see it? Yeah, on-campus recruiting, scouting reports, just a lot of different things, whether it be scheduling or different things like that, anything I can do to help them out. How much have you paid attention to, sorry, Nebraska baseball since you've been gone? Oh, I, I pay attention to it each and every year. I mean, it's just got a, a strong place in my heart. And, and over the years, I've always followed how they're doing and who's doing well and the seasons that they've had. Certainly, this one was a fun one to watch. Well, you mentioned they had a successful season last year. Where do you see this program going in the next couple of years? And what do you think this team can achieve? Well, I mean, their goal is to be in the postseason every year. and. and Playing in the 14 tournament and trying to get to another three-game series to, to get back to Omaha. That's something that's been accomplished here. And you know, certainly the expectations of the coaches and players are higher than anyone else's. And, and that's the, the expectation here within Nebraska baseball. Do you think that's doable in the next couple of seasons? Absolutely. I mean, that's going to be the goal each and every year, certainly. Maybe this is a question better suited a year from now. I guess, are there challenges with trying to do what you want to do, but being limited in the fact that you're not a coach, you're, you can't necessarily have the hands-on? Well, I just think there's a lot of different things I can do to help the coaches and, and the players as well and, and pour into those guys and do everything I can to help them out and, and kind of being in the middle between the players and, and the coaches and, and be kind of a go-to guy for the players. When you were kind of looking at options after a and I mean, were, were there things that were kind of important to you for maybe what that next step was going to be, whether it be you know, right back into a head coaching job or something like this, or what, what was kind of your approach, I guess, to that decision? Well, I think just like for, for all of us, when, when you start looking at different opportunities from a job standpoint, your family has to come first. And for me, it was really staying in the Midwest corridor from Texas up this way because that's where my family is and that's what, what's most important to us at this point right now. And, and my daughter and granddaughter are here in town, and you know, you know so that makes it special as well. We're looking forward to more pheasant hunting, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and, and can't get here soon enough. But. <laughs> Maybe a little fishing right now. You so. got back here quite a bit, though, didn't you, Rob? We do. I would about once a year. Yeah, I would always come up in the winter when my daughter was in school here, and I'd fly up, hunt with a bunch of friends. When she finished finals, I'd get in her car and, and drive her back to Texas and get 12 hours in the car with her. And, and so, I like chasing birds. So this place means a lot to you. It like, absolutely even does. The baseball program, it, it does. So standing here, you know. On staff at the University of Nebraska again, what are the emotions? Uh, it's it's a it's a pretty special feeling, almost surreal. I mean, Nebraska is a special place, and you know, from border to border in the state, it's incredibly supported in every sport here on campus. And I'm just thankful to be back and be a part of it again. How's it going sharing a desk with Renee? Well, it's I'm just trying to keep up with her. I mean, she, we all know she's the one that's in charge, and I'm just doing everything she tells me to do on day one. <laughs> I was going to ask you too, Rob. With all your time in the SEC, you see the facilities, and you see what some of the top teams in college baseball are doing. How close is Nebraska to that, just globally, from talent, facilities, everything else? Maybe what does Nebraska need to do to close that gap where they already did? Well, certainly the playing surface is as good as there is in the country and the stadium as well. And I know Coach Bolt's got a lot of ideas and plans that he would like 
uh, to see happen in, in the future as far as baseball operations type deal uh, for the players and, and from a recruiting standpoint. Certainly the indoor facility to Alex Gordon is, is second to none, but uh, more of an operations type addition I think would help things out from that standpoint.